and a privilege for me to extend a vote of thanks as co-chair of SOCHAM's National Council on IT, ITES and e-commerce. But uh, before I do that, I wanted to take a little time and uh, repeat uh, and underscore some of the things that you've heard uh, from the speakers on this uh, panel. I will begin, of course, uh, with Dr. Lavdish uh, Chanana. I'm sure I speak uh, for all of us when I say that we learned tremendously from his survey of global and regional best practices, especially from his vantage point in the Asia Pacific. Uh, what resonated with me deeply was this argument that we should move from the what uh, to the how, uh, operationalizing data protection in India, especially around emerging technologies like generative AI. Uh, from uh, Dr. Subhi Chaturvedi, I think the most valuable, it was hard of course, there were a whole range of things that each panelist said, so I have to be picky, but uh, the point that resonated the most with me was the argument that the multi-stakeholder conversations that were happening at global forum, like the IGF, are now happening with equal amount of rigor and vibrancy in uh, national and regional uh, forums, and that if privacy should not be reduced to an afterthought, then it is critical that everybody is taken seriously as a stakeholder, and everybody gets an opportunity to participate in this process of producing evidence-based uh, policy. Uh, Ram Rakapan was very uh, brief, uh, but I thought his uh, account of how there has been incredible damage to consumer trust and how governments have be begun to intervene with regulations in order to protect the rights of uh, customers was uh, an important reminder of the context we are in. Uh, how, however, he ended with a more optimistic assessment and he said that the pendulum is now swinging back onto the side of consumer interest. Uh, from Rahul Jain, uh, I, I think uh, what he did was continue on the thread that Ram had initiated, uh, but talking much more from a solutions perspective, he spoke about how at Amazon transparency, uh, customer control and security is seen as the right way to regain uh, trust from the consumer, and that even these principles have to be operationalized thoughtfully. You could, for an example, overwhelm the consumer with too much transparency. And then uh, the piece that I learned from Rahul, of course, was the importance of India participating in multilateral fora, uh, and including the global forum for cross-border privacy rules. Uh, from Rajesh, uh, Ranjan, I think nobody will leave this room uh, forgetting the three user framework, I thought that was a very useful way of thinking of the user, and Microsoft's commitment not to fail that last category of user, the uninformed user. Uh, I think a clear indication that the principle of caveat enter does not work, and that the law and regulators and industry must all come together to protect the rights of the user. Uh, the most quotable quote I thought from uh, Mr. Ranjan was, operating within guardrails is better for the industry, and I, I'm sure most of us agree. Mm -hmm. uh, from uh, Lieutenant General Dr. Rajesh uh, Pant, I think again a reminder of the context that we are today facing a triumvirate of legislations, the DIA, the DPDP, and the Telecom Bill. It is indeed an unprecedented moment in India's uh, regulatory history. Uh, he also told us about the unique uh, path that India has taken on this uh, journey and the types of regulatory innovations that have been proposed by India, for example, the digital data embassies, which have already been operationalized in the context of the Ukraine war. So finally, let me end by thanking our guest of honor himself, uh, Lieutenant General Dr. Rajesh Pant, National Cyber Security Coordinator, Dr. Vindya, for gracing uh, this occasion with his presence and his wisdom. 
I'd like to thank the Asuchan team for organizing the Global Privacy and Data Protection Leadership Meet 2023 and for their substantial uh, leadership on, on the design of the agenda and the curation of the speakers. Uh, finally, and most importantly, I would like to thank all of you, uh, my esteemed colleagues from industry, other experts, and uh, dignitaries on the dais. Thank you so much.